Welcome back to Angel Tip Pilates. Today is an hourglass workout, which means we'll be focusing on the upper body, doing core work, and doing the glutes as well. No equipment is required today, and let's get right into it. So let's start with a twist. We're going to drive the elbow back as we come back, come back up, and then drive the other elbow as you roll back, and then come back up. Let's begin. Make sure that you're rotating here and not just bringing the elbow back. <laughs> Get some good rotation through the spine. Yeah, this also is getting a little oblique work. The part of the abs, the side of the abs. Okay, let's hit the side of the shoulder. Let's scoot out for this. Hands are gonna be like this bent. We're gonna start with them up, so raise. Tuck under as those arms come closer towards us, and then lift up. Here we go. So this routine can be done with no weight, or you can have ankle weights. That would be a great thing to do on your wrists. If you try it again and wanna make it a little more challenging, or if you hold some dumbbells in your arms, that would work as well. Lots of ways to level it up. Good, now we're gonna be doing a shoulder press. If your hip flexors are feeling tight here, you can do a quick stretch forward, open that up. So for the shoulder press, we're gonna start with the arms up, drive those elbows down as you roll back, and then come back up. Here we go. Come up, good. Stretch those hip flexors again. Come forward. Last one, we're gonna do a bicep curl. Start with them up, roll back. Come back up, let's begin. Bring the arms down. Let's go onto our hands and knees now. All right, so breathe in and then exhale. Draw those abs in. We're going to bring the hand forward, lift up, and come back down. Let's begin. So we're just starting with an arm raise first, and then we're going to add different variations with the legs to make these more challenging. So both arms are gonna be working, the shoulder that, of the hand that's moving, and then the other one that's supporting you. Okay, place that hand down. Whew, let's go to the other side. So arm raise up and lower, let's begin. So be mindful here of trying to keep your abs in and not letting your back arch. As you get tired, your abs will, you might wanna let go there. We'll do quick rests in between the one side and the other side. Okay, let's sit back, stretch those arms out. We're doing lots of different variations with that. All right, the next one we're gonna come out. You're gonna bring your arm to the side. It's gonna look like a W. You're gonna raise up to shoulder height, 
and then lower down. Let's do it this time with the opposite leg straight out. So just lift and lower. Here we go. Really try to stay right on top of that hip and not sinking into the other side. You'll feel it more into your shoulder of the one that is supporting you now that you've got that leg gone. <laughs> Still there a little bit though. All right, let's go to the other side. So extend the other leg out. Let's begin. Bring the arms down, shake them out. Let's come back out. We're gonna repeat that, but add on. So leg's gonna be the same. We're gonna raise the arm as we raise the leg. Press, everything comes down. Here we go. So everything comes up, press the arm, everything comes down. You can go at my pace or choose a slower pace for you, whatever makes you feel steady here. Switch sides. Everything comes up, press, everything comes down. Come down, shake your arms out. Okay, now we're gonna go into a row. So bring the leg back again. This time, have it up to start. We're going to row as that leg comes up higher and then come back down. Let's begin. So lift everything up and come down. So hitting the back of the arms with this move and then making those glutes have to work to lift that leg up higher. Just go as high as your leg can handle and your low back. You don't wanna be bringing it so high that you're arching and letting your stomach drop there. Switch sides. Lift the leg to start. Everything lifts up more back down. Bring that leg down, stretch that out. Let's come back out. You're gonna start with your knee in. Arm's gonna be in that row position. Straighten the arm, bring the leg out. Everything comes back in. Here we go. So straight and bent. I try to do things where the arms and the legs are similar because I know it gets confusing when you're doing two things at once, two limbs at once. So I hope you appreciate that. <laughs> All 
right, switch sides. Knee is hovering, arm is bent. Straighten everything out, bend it back in. down, stretch it out. Okay, let's come back out. We're gonna keep the arms down this time. You're gonna bring one leg out to the side and come back down. That's it. Here we go. So out to the side and back down. Make sure you're not sinking into that hip. So not coming over here as that leg comes up. Other side. Come down, it's like right here, you feel it, don't you? All right, we're gonna add on. So back to that first leg, we're gonna go out to the side, but then we're also gonna lift up. Let's begin. So out to the side, raise up. Other side, let's begin. So side and lift. The height doesn't matter here. What matters the most is that you're not sinking into your hip. So if that means you do a small movement, a little out to the side, a little up, that's fine. Bring that leg down. Now we're gonna lie down and do some ab work. For our ab work, place your right hand behind your head. Left leg will go in tabletop. Left arm reaching overhead. We're gonna flex up as that arm comes down, leg extends, and come back. Let's begin. So we try to exhale as we flex up and the arm comes down and then inhale as everything comes back. Switch side, leg comes down, other leg comes up, right arm reaching overhead. Flex up, leg extends, and lower. Switch sides, 
Legs gonna go back in tabletop. This time we're gonna do the triceps. So elbows bent, straighten everything out, and come back. Let's begin. Flip sides, elbow bent by the side, extend everything out. Switch sides. Now we're gonna combine those so that we stay up longer. It sounds really great, right? <laughs> so start with the arms straight overhead, flex up, stay up for the tricep, and then come back down. Here we go. Ooh, okay, let's take a little break here. Go the other side. Leg and tabletop, arm starts reaching overhead. Let's begin. This would be a good one to do with those ankle weights on your arms. Let's go on to some glute work. So let's just do a regular bridge first, both legs. So coming down and then press back up. Let's begin. Come down. Now we're gonna do a single leg bridge. Press back up. One leg comes in tabletop, lower and lift. Here we go. Now if this is too much, you can go back to the first one we did with both legs down for a bridge. And then have this be a goal to work towards. Bring that leg down, let's come down in between. We'll go to the other side. Bridge back up with both feet. Other leg goes in tabletop, down and lift. So nice to have a glute that feels nice and fresh and rested, doesn't it? Mine was burning at the end.
bring that leg down, let's come down. Now let's bring the knees in, just stretch side to side. Bring those legs back out, press up into a bridge. Leg goes in tabletop again, lift the heel. Now, can you go down and up? We got a little extra range of motion there. So let's begin. Down and lift. Put that leg down, let's come down in between to rest. One, just the other side left, and then we'll stretch. So let's press up, other leg in tabletop, bring that heel up if you like, down and up. Bring that leg down, come down, bring the legs in, rock back and forth. That feels so good in the low back now. Let's bring one leg in, bring the other leg closer towards you. We'll hold here. Go to the other side. Let's sit up. Let's go on our hands and knees. We'll do a cat stretch. So let's round the back. And then we're going to extend the spine. So just let that stomach drop. Feel that stretch through the abs. Let's sit back into a shell stretch, so arms are going to be reaching in front. Round your back. Let's sit up, stretch the shoulders. We worked the shoulders so much today. So bring one arm across, hook it with the other arm. Do the other shoulder. Okay, now we're gonna do a side bend with on that same side, so bring the arm overhead.
bring that arm up, let's go to the other side. And come up. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this workout. I will attach some videos that could be good to do after this if you feel like moving a little bit more. Let me know if you like this video and I will see you next time.